Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with some awesome Galaxy S11 scoop. I'm really happy about the response I got from the last video where I talked about the things I don't want from Samsung anymore, especially the two-year software support. If you guys have not seen that video, be sure to watch that and make sure that you comment below so that someone from Samsung sees that video. Anyways, let's get down to today's news, which is pretty awesome for a lot of reasons. As we know that Galaxy S11 will have a 108 megapixel camera, as amazing as that sounds, it's also a curse. A curse because of Instagram. You see, the S11 will be able to take amazing, sharp, high quality detail photos, but you won't be able to post those photos in that full quality or even half of that quality on Instagram because Instagram specifically supports resolution of 12 megapixel. This happened to me when I was using the Redmi Note 8 Pro which actually uses a 64 MP sensor and whenever I tried to post those photos, Instagram would degrade them massively. So in order to post those photos, I had to convert them into a 12 megapixel photo and Instagram was fine. So I was worried that this will happen to Samsung Galaxy S11 Plus camera as well but seems like Samsung already knows this and they're doing the best possible thing that they can do. So out comes the news from IS Universe Galaxy 7 Plus model will have 108 megapixel sensor. We're not sure if the Galaxy S11 will get this but so far everything is looking awesome for the Plus model and what's exciting is that this sensor has a 2.4 micrometer pixel size. Having a 2.4 micron size pixel means that this has the largest pixel size on any smartphone. And what will that do? Well, it will improve the low light performance massively. You're gonna see much less noise, a lot more detail. And obviously if Samsung nails the software this time, you're gonna see some amazing, amazing quality photos. So pretty much this sensor will do some pixel binning, which means nine pixel will join together to become one, resulting in a sharp 12 megapixel photo. And what that will do is that that will allow you to post photos of that high quality on Instagram with Without turning them into trash or without crashing the Instagram application because I've faced it with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro so seeing this is pretty good. Also Ice Universe completely confirmed one biggest thing that we want to see on Samsung phone and that is a periscope camera. So after years of having 2x optical zoom we're finally gonna see 5x or even potentially 10x optical zoom on the Galaxy S11 slash S11 Plus model. This lady is pretty much holding the optical zoom module of the S11 family and yeah we don't need any more confirmation I think it's pretty much a done deal now. Samsung made this sensor in collaboration with Core Photonics. This was a company that they acquired for about 150 million dollars. This was the same company that was behind the Oppo's 10x lossless zoom so a huge move from Samsung indeed. Also, a huge good news for the Note 10 users, the Android 10 based One UI 2.0 is currently rolling out for the Note 10 models. I haven't received the update on mine, but yeah, soon the firmware will be available for manual installation or you could just wait for the update to arrive on your beloved Note 10. And I just want to do a bit of a correction from previous video. Uh, basically, the news of Samsung having 1 million sales of Galaxy Fold, it's actually wrong. Samsung hasn't actually sold 1 million Galaxy Galaxy Fold units. Instead, they are expecting 1 million sales of this device. So right now, the sales are definitely not at that level. I hope Samsung does get that scoop out of it because I really want to see more innovation with the Fold lineup. If you guys missed my previous video, basically Samsung will be introducing a brand new form factor of a Galaxy Fold that's going to be a clamshell device right next to the S11 family. It's said to have the same chipset as the S11 family along with the optical zoom and the 108 megapixel sensor. So that could actually be a really, really exciting phone that most people will consider buying. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about whole new camera detail leak and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.